Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now for this, you can go to Xbox app, top left, click on your profile icon and then go to support option. Click on gaming services repair tool and then click on start repair. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. The repair will take some time. So let it complete and then you can try to install the game once again. Now, once completed, you can close this. Try to install the game once again. You can even run gaming services repair tool from the website, from Microsoft website. So you can search gaming services repair tool. And then you can go to uh, gaming services repair tool for PC, uh, Xbox support. Go to the official Microsoft website. Now, on this website, you will see downloadable version. So click on downloadable version over here and then scroll down, click on download the gaming services repair tool for PC and then run this exe file. And then click on yes to allow. And this will uh, take some time. And once this is done, you will see completed successfully. Once it is done, you can launch, uh, try to install the game and then check. Now over here you can see completed successfully. Once this is done, now you can try to install the game once again and then you can check. If you receive any kind of error message, just try to launch Xbox app once again. Now it's still not working. Uh, the next step is to log out and log in with same account on Xbox app and store. So open Microsoft store at the top right, you will see a profile icon, click on it, click on sign out and then click on sign in and select the account which has the game pass or which has the game. So make sure that you log in with right account over here and then go to Xbox app top left yeah. profile icon, click on sign out and then click on sign in. Yeah. Log in with same account which you have used on Microsoft Store. And once you're logged in with same account on Xbox app and store, now you can try to install the game and then check. Make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, turn it on. Set time automatically. If this is off, turn it off. Then click on sync now. Sync now is important over here. If you receive any kind of error in red color, just try multiple times. Once the sync is done, go back to time and language, language and region. And then make sure your country is selected over here. And then try to reinstall the game. Try to install the game. Next step is to go to Microsoft Store library or downloads to install it. Now, if you're using Xbox app, in that case, you can go to store and then you can go to downloads. And if you see the game in downloads, you can try to install the game from here. You can even go to library. And if you have the game on library, you can try to install the game from library and then you can check. Now, if you're using Microsoft Store to uh, install the game, in that case, you can use Xbox app to install the game. Next step is to run this power cell command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy this command and then type in power cell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows power cell and make sure you run Windows power cell as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time and during this process, you will see some errors in red color. So if you see uh, errors in red color like this, just ignore it. Let the process complete. Once this is completely done, you will see everything red. Now you can restart Xbox app or store and then try to install the game. Next step is to delete Microsoft store local cache folder. Now for this open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show. Put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open the local folder, find packages folder, open the packages folder and scroll down and find Microsoft Windows Store. So here you can see uh, Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. Open this folder. Over here you can see local cache, make a right click and then click on delete. Once this is deleted, now relaunch the Xbox app or store and then try to install the game. If you uh, see any kind of error message, just close Xbox app, relaunch Xbox app, and then you can check. Now you can try to install the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to 
run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. This will reopen Microsoft Store and then you can try to install the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to repair or reset Xbox app or store. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app and then go to app settings. And then scroll down, click on terminate first and then click on repair. Once the repair is done, open Xbox app and then check. If that does not work, you can even perform reset. So click on reset, reset. And once the reset is done, you can open Xbox app and then you can check. Now still not working. Uh, the next step is to do the same thing with store. So type in Microsoft Store in Windows search box and then make a right click on Microsoft Store and then click on app settings and then scroll down Again, you click on terminate over here and then click on repair. And once the repair is done, now you can check. If that does not work, you can even perform reset, reset. After the reset, you can open Microsoft Store and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update store. To update store, you can go to Microsoft Store. Now, when you do all these, make sure that you log in with the right account which has the game pass or which has the game and make sure that you're logged in with the same account on store and app on xbox app now you can go to downloads over here and then click on check for update and then click on update all and make sure everything is updated over here once everything is updated over here now you can launch xbox app or store and then you can check still not working next step is to install xbox identity provider now for this you can open this link in a browser the link is provided in the video description Click on download and then click on open Microsoft Store. And if Xbox identity provider is not installed on your computer, you will see install option or get option over here. So you can or you can see update option. So install it or update it and then you can check. In my case, it is already installed. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. Now for this, copy this command and then type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open PowerShell as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. This will uninstall gaming services from your computer. And once this is done to install gaming services, run the second command. Paste it over here on the same window. Hit the enter key. This will open Microsoft Store and then you will see install option. So click on install, click on yes to allow. You will and let the installation complete. Make sure this is installed. 100% once this is installed, now you can open Xbox app and then you can check. So let this complete first. Only then you can open Xbox app or store and then try to install the game once again. Next step is to start all these services. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find IP helper in the list. Make a double click on IP helper. Set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Find Xbox services at the bottom here. You can see Xbox services. Make a double click on each Xbox services, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Again, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Again, make a double click over here, set it to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted then click on OK, again, again, automatic, apply, start, and then click on OK. Find Windows Update, set it to automatic, apply, click on Start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find Microsoft Store Install Service, and then make a double click, set this to automatic, click on Apply, click on Start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Now find Gaming Services in the list. Here, make sure gaming services are running. If not running, make a right click and then click on start if highlighted or you can click on restart. Again, make a right click, click on start or restart. And then you can launch Xbox app or Microsoft Store and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now for this, open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. 
once all the updates are installed over here then restart again and after the system restart you can check still not working run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl in windows search box and then click on inet cpl.cpl and then go to the advanced tab scroll down make sure to use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 all four are checked over here and then hit apply click on ok and then relaunch xbox app store and then check next step is to try installing the game to c drive or different drive so you can open xbox app on your computer now at the top left you will see your profile icon click on it and then you can go to settings and then go to install option so if the game is already uh, you're trying to install the game on c drive if if it's not working if you have any other drive you can cl click on this drop down option select different drive and then check if the game is installing to different drive then you can select c drive and then try to install the game and then check still not working the next step is to uninstall and reinstall xbox app and store so type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app and then click on uninstall over here and then click on uninstall once uninstall now you can open Microsoft Store on your computer and then you can type in Xbox app over here and then you can click on Xbox app and then you will see the install button hit install. If it is not working uh, on, on, a, on Microsoft Store, if you are unable to install it, in that case you can go to Microsoft website, you can go to the Xbox website, go to Microsoft official website and then click on download the app and then run the CXE file and then click on accept and then install it and after the installation you can try to install the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to do the same thing with microsoft store so you can copy the first command the command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and make sure that you run this as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall microsoft store from your computer it will be gone from here once it is done it's gone now to install it copy the second command this command is also provided in the video description paste it over here hit the enter key once done you should be able to open microsoft store and then you can re restart xbox app or store and then you can try to install the game still not working you can update windows to the latest version using media creation tool for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website, find media creation tool. So scroll down. Over here, you can see media creation tool. You can click on download now. And then you can run this exe file. When you run this exe file, you will see the screen. Click on accept over here. And by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next. And then select ISO file over here. And then click on next. And then you can save it to desktop. Save. Let the download complete. This process will take some time. And then click on finish option you will see finish option hit finish and then let it close automatically do not close this manually it will take few seconds to close now you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow click on next over here click on accept over here and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app will be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so hit install once it is installed log into the computer and then you can try to install the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel